Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're doing fantastic as usual. If you're brand new, be sure you subscribe. Today we're watching this guy who pranked a professional golf tournament, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? These guys are stepping it up a, a notch, you know what I'm saying? Because they're pranking golf tournaments, man. You know what I'm saying? That's next level, you know what I'm saying? Because this one is live on TV as well. Because you could get in serious trouble for this. If you're brand new, be sure you subscribe, drop a like, baby. Let's go. You're probably wondering why I have him in this situation. Well, this is a series where I've done some of the craziest things with the UK's biggest prankster, Nick Amalana. We are both putting each other through four unbearable situations to see who will go through or who will fold first. We're doing all this to answer the question, who is the biggest menace? Right and the winner is... Ah, so this is UK and US. The biggest menace. So Dennis the Menace. Tell us what exactly is going on? Well, back on my escapade in the most racist town in America, I ran into one of the UK's most popular pranksters, Nick Amalata, and I just smelled the menace inside of him. So I challenged him to a competition. Wait, what? You could smell it? What? To see who was going to be the bigger menace between him or me. And I called it the Menace Off. <laughs> challenged me to this menace off and to be honest with you i was just using this as an opportunity to get him deported so i never have to see him again back in paris wow. that sounds mean put up something somewhere so now that it's my turn i want nico to put something somewhere i want nico to put his balls inside of another man's hole not just it what Oh, this is golf. I was gonna say, who says that, bro? Who says I want him to put his balls inside another man? What? Hey, man. Rory McIlroy's. <clears throat> that sounds gay, bro. Okay, so I honestly, here, this whole cinema. I want him to put his balls in another man's hole. I want it what? To play out like a movie. So to make sure that happened, <laughs> I went out of movie theater and had the greatest up. movie of all time, Happy Gilmore. Jid mm. would just simply explain the plan, but instead he made me watch a whole two hour movie before he let me hear it. Happy Gilmore, one of the greatest golfers of our time. I want you to be great just like him. So, the plan is I want you to go to a PGA tour, one of the most highest and prestigious honors any golfer can be bestowed upon. Wow. Not only do I want you to participate, I want you to win. So, I have equipped for you a remote control golf ball. You're gonna go to the 18th hole and hit a hole in one against one of the go to golfers. A four time major tournament champion and one of the greatest of all time. I absolutely wow. despise that mega mind merchant, Jid. He wants me to mess with the PGA Tour, which is a major event and high levels of security. And they were never gonna be happy if a scrawny guy like myself <laughs> decided to get involved and in. Imagine if they actually pull this off. Corrupt. Way through. You usually don't see too many black people at a PGA tour, so to make sure no suspicion was raised, we went to our nearest dicks to get on the cover. Uh, of course, he had to use the dick sweating good. You know, We're getting ready for the PGA tour. His dad's about to play. I'm out. I'm out. Who's uh -oh. yeah. Remember this, right? I'm out. Who's What is it? Yeah, there we go. There we go, my guy. Thank you, man. <laughs> we looked apart. We hopped in the car, drove over to the PGA Tour, and started scouting around to find the perfect hole for Nico to put his balls in. But this golf ball looked oh, a bit yeah. shoddy, so before we could scout out the location, we needed to run a few tests on our amazing golf ball. What I'm about to do is a run through with this ball, and let's see if it works. Well, Ooh. I'm glad I tried that. You know, if that happens, I think I'll have a heart attack. The first thing I noticed about this golf ball was it would split if I rolled it in the wrong way, which isn't a good thing when I needed to roll it on the green. I'll just end up placing it down here, and then this is going to be painfully slow. Nah, that's the, that's the first thing. <laughs> The second thing I noticed was it was painfully slow and the ball did not move in a straight line. It was super jaggedy. Just walked on. Stop, Rory. This is how you do it. Oh, little spin. Come back. And, oh, lost connection. 
I can't believe it. And the oh, final man. thing I noticed was the ball had a very, very limited radius, which meant I had to be close to the ball at all times. Just what you need in a very popular golf tournament with a lot of fans watching. Mm -hmm. See, I knew there was going to be a few problems. So that's why I set a whole day for us to just plan everything out. Because if we fix all the problems that day, whenever it's time to yeah, do it. Yeah, good thinking, man. Do it. Make a recipe for it. <laughs> Boy, subscribe if you're brand new now. Yes! And drop a like right now. Yes! Success. With all the new information that we gathered on the ball, we then made our way over to the 18th hole, where it was finally time to test and see if this would actually work. Oh my god, there we are. Our first go. So here, we're going to go up there. We're going to be sitting down. We're going to try to get as close to the as possible. Then you're just going to just throw it down right before you know he tees off. Then you're just controlling it to the hole. I mean, it was the perfect plan that we couldn't use because if right. I were to drop the golf ball from that height, it would have definitely split in half, which meant the hole 18 was out of the mix and we needed to find a new hole. Oh, you good, Jack? That's good. good. Okay. No, I got a question. Is there another hole that has more people or would this be the hole that has the most people right now? Yeah. Hole 15? Yeah. Still? I feel like just drop it, dropping it in isn't gonna work. Yeah, let's go to hole 15. Since hole 18 was ruled out, we had to ask the young ones what would be the best hole to perform this prank at? And that's when we realized 15. that we had to start making our way over to hole 15. Yo, Nick, what do you think about this hole? Oh, it's pretty full, but I'm saying in terms of distance from there to there, the other side might be closer. Should we try? Yeah. Shit, this nigga's actually yeah, tracking, eh? So you should get that golf cart. Where is it? There. You don't get this, that's a hole. That is Shall I be real with you, though? It means I have to chuck it through because it won't move through this. Chucking it that far, I can split. Because the cheap plastic golf ball was so bad, it meant if I were to throw the ball, it would split, which meant that if I was going to do this, I had to go onto the golf course, which meant we had to work out a way where I could blend in with the staff and get onto the golf course without too many issues. Wow. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> <laughs> Get the security. I want to put it on the grass. What I'm saying is, you do it like, if, if, if I can get like one of those bibs or something like that, I can put it on the grass without anyone even glitching. Even at the very least, get one of those white shirts, That's what I was just put a cream and then have a pass because it yeah. resembles that. We saw this oh, security shit. guard and we basically hatched a plan to take a picture with him just so we could copy his exact look. Excuse me. Oh, wow. Sir, <laughs> can we take a picture with you? Please. A picture. Is it okay we take a picture with you? A picture. We come from England, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got, is that, is that okay? Well, on this side or that side? Over here, that's fine. Honestly, thank you so much. Hey, because they look the part. Has anyone yeah. got a hole in one on this? <laughs> I mean, they take a picture of the past too. <laughs> Let's go, boys. What's that? Of course. Of course it was like, oh, oh, it was they had to troll him, man. Take a picture of that thing. Did he? Oh wow! Oh man! He tripled. No, Boy, he no, he actually tripled bogey my mom. Make sure you subscribe if you're brand new. That's crazy! I can't believe you're even revealing that one. Wait, guys, stop! Are you a munch? You want to go on a date with Ice Spice? Hit that like button right now and subscribe to my channel for a chance That's to win a PS5 custom and a date with Ice Spice herself. Hurry up! There's a lot of munches out there. Thank you, man. <laughs> It's like a side mission in Skyrim. We had to get him four items in order to get him on the golf course. We had to get a hat, a lanyard, a white polo shirt, and probably the hardest out of all of them, a PGA badge. So the item that we decided to go after first was the lanyard. Excuse me, man. Uh, by any chance, I see everybody walking around with lanyards. I love lanyards. Where can I get one? You mean like hoodies? I don't think they're selling hoodies. Oh, really? Maybe they are. Try that. Try to work the next time. They have everything over this. Oh, amazing. Yeah, Great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. So we had figured out what we needed to get close to the hole, but now we have to actually find the apparel. So we went over to the merch tent and tried to match it up exactly to what the volunteers had on. Merch tent. Wow. During our time in the merch tent, we were able to get three out of the four items that we needed. Now all we wow. need to do is make the four. So we headed back home, had Kowalski hop on Photoshop, make us a fake PGA badge. Now it's time to get a name. Oh, what's the name you doing? Exactly the same. Yeah. That is the name of my great grandfather. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, it is. These niggas actually got to so figure this out, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, honestly, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, I know what I'm saying.
Mitsubishi PGA Tour BMW Championship. My eyes are set on the GOAT, Rory McIlroy himself. I'm looking forward to seeing what Strong happens game. next. It's day two now. Nico literally has no excuse. We've done all the planning. He has the ball. He practiced with it. And he's in uniform. There was one area that we messed up, though. Nico. I knew they, they changed it. I knew they were. Look, I can't zoom in, but they, they flipped it. Me just in the back. Me just in the back. Oh, Sometimes on major tournament days, they change the hole from one side of the green to the other just to switch it up. And we didn't count for this. So, we had to change the plan. <coughs> so they were going to change the holes? Yeah. They changed them. Change the plans. Follow me. You're going to have to go on through that side because it's closer. If you're going through the side that we were thinking about going through, it'll take too long for the ball to get there. I won't lie. I was very nervous. Usually when I'm disturbing events, I'll do it when the event is finished and I'll have some type of reason for why I'm doing it in the first place. And with this one, there was no reason. And I knew they weren't just going to let some random guy trolling their event get away with it. There was oh, going to be consequences. Yeah. But I still had to do it. And here we have McElroy <laughs> locked in, ready, and bam! McElroy wrapping up on hole eight with a par. See what I mean? We want to in front of you, all the way on this side. We want it to be as close as possible. I think you just walk through your own We're going to go on and go on the other side. Dude, I thought golf is for old people. Do I don't know. Go on that side. Okay, I'm saying this side. Okay. Let's go back to the spot. Despite the major change, the plan was still a go. But... Rory was stroking that thing fast. It was fast approaching. This is old. What? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Probably wondering why a bunch of people are taking pictures with me. Yes, we do. Tell us who you are. Rory likes black girls, and there's rumors that I might be his son. <laughs> Rory. Oh. I know, you can see it in the face. All right. Well, we're going to start that How old are you? on social media. I'm 21. How old are you? He started early. Yeah. He wasn't that much of a professional raw dogger. With only three what? strokes in, this that's what we call crazy, a par in the world of golf, my friends. Rory has officially demolished hole 12. It's almost time. We're right next to the hole. Rory McIlroy is about to step up. There is only one thing to do, but there's a million things that could go wrong. So, go on, man. Let's just hope we do it. All we've got to do now is just wait for Rory to arrive. I'll take this off. And it's, it's time to go. Focused, mm. keen, and aware. And he takes that shot on the 15th hole. Was that Roy doesn't look? I'm not sure. I can't see. That was Roy. He's got a green shirt for sure. Yeah. Roy had just gotten to the 15th hole. It was make or break time for Nico now. Okay. Roy's here. Yeah. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. As I walked away to get changed into my disguise, I thought to myself, this is it. The moment we all prepared for is right around the corner. Bro, bro, go. He's about to finish. Go. This is for you the green. Rory's about to tee off and leave the 15th hole. This was our only chance. How much is going up? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go. Oh, shit. He's done it. One try at this. If I fail, I'm done. I fold it and I lose this series. Dad, you got this, Dad! Rory! 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 Yo, what's I got to do? So I put the ball down and I locked eyes with Mr. Rory McIlroy. And I said to him, This is how you got hole in one. Are you ready? I don't know. Rory doesn't seem too happy with somebody. I'm going to do it. What's going on here? Is there a remote ball there? No! Rory! It was clear Rory didn't want me to put my ball in his hole. But I still had one more chance to put it in there. Please, man. Please, Rory. Rory, stop. Oh shit! He threw it into the water! That's my dream, Rory! Rory McElroy picked up my ball and threw it into the ocean. Dude, to be seen it was you up and sprinting out of there. I would have just came there. To the bottom of the sea. And it was over for me. Move! You won't stop! Good job, you bro! Stop. That's my dream! Go get him next time! Oh. Wait. We just had the biggest golfer in the world what? grab our golf ball and throw it into the lake. What was that? Oh, is that a cop? Shit, it is. <laughs> the we just had the biggest golfer in the world grab our golf ball and throw it into the lake. And it could have all been prevented if Nico just made a hole in one. 
I knew we couldn't find it. I had one dream. One dream now. <laughs> you will regret this day, Rory McElroy. Then as I was being taken off the green, I saw a security guard whip out some handcuffs and I bugged out because I wasn't trying to get arrested by the security. Then that's when I realized that the person who escorted me off the green wasn't a security guard. It was a full blown policeman. And when I saw that yeah. a policeman behind me, I knew it was a long day for me. Shit, crowd boy. I, I just wanted to be a golfer. I mean, how are we all doing? Peace out, guys. Let's go. Damn, bro. Let's go. <laughs> That's what this nigga's got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, shit. What is this guy saying? No, no, no. He's going to jail. Look at Nick up. He got past security. Made it onto the course. Actually got to talk to the goat himself, Rory McElroy. And then the whole part of this video, which was for him to get the ball into the hole, he fucked that up. And then nigga was caught, taken away. And then after finally finding him, Find out he had been arrested. Why didn't he run away? So the milk guy was. We bro. went from police station to police station to try to find out where he was born. Then after hours of looking, we finally got a call. We coming for you, man. We coming. Oh, you can't save me. I don't have much time. I've got one question. What's up? Well, I mean, you were right there and you didn't miss the hole like three times. You know what? Just because you got arrested, it's not a problem. <laughs> Alright, see you in two days, bro. Shoot, uh, this nigga's getting arrested with his friends, man. God damn, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can do a prank where I'm just getting arrested now, for you guys. Nico didn't get the ball in the hole. Leave it in the he comment section below. He didn't take into account that Rory was a part-time goalkeeper and he got arrested. So, no fault. Well done, Nico. Fair play to Jid for getting me arrested for the sake of the YouTube series. But I really thought to myself and realized that I don't want to do this anymore. Because the amount of pain I'm going to cause Jid in the next one is going to be crazy. My vengeance will seep through his skin. Shit. So the plan bad. is to scare Jid into thinking he's getting cancelled, but worse than that, cancelled by his own community. I'm colorblind, you know? Like, actually. So the caption says, I like my family melanin free. I'm not even just trying to make me bold. Trying to end me. Wait, what? I Where know, I'm okay. from, we will call you an uncle. Oh shit, that's like tomorrow. Hey guys, man, be sure to go check out episode one and two over on Nico's channel. He got me a. Oh yeah, I reacted to that video as well, boys. Yeah, and that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's it for this video. I really hope you did enjoy, boys. If you did enjoy, be sure you subscribe and drop a like. I'll see you all in the next video. Love you all.